All right, so now let's move on to the textures. Um, if we go to the default material group and uncheck this, we can see that there is a <laughs> whole lot of textures here. Kind of overwhelming to work with, but these are for every single one of these meshes, so it kind of makes sense. So to make this easier on us, for now, we're going to disable every single one of these meshes except for the one we want to add textures to right now and also disable the body groups and since we're not messing with the bones disable the bone renaming so now it's back to a red mesh however when we go to default material group we can see that the only textures it asks for are the ones that uh, are for specifically this mesh that is visible. So now let's go to where our textures are. Okay, some of these are organized, some of them are not. So I'm going to put uh, so I'm going to put these in folders. So so let's go back to the textures on the. Half-Life Alex side, I'm going to make a shared one, I'm going to make a head one, and we're going to make a body one. This is going to make it a lot more convenient later. We'll make this um, No More Heroes 3 outfit, which is the one we're currently getting textures for. Since Travis here has a ton of textures, we're all organizing them into folders, which, trust me, will make your life a lot easier when you're actually searching for these textures in the material editor. Okay, so now that I have all the textures I want in the spots that I want them, we're going to go back to Model Dunk. Um, me personally, what I like to do is that... Um, when I haven't set materials yet, I like to put the texture render UI on all of the materials except for the one I'm currently making material for, so that this is the only visible one. It makes it a lot easier to focus on one at a time. So now go over here to the material editor. On new, click on save. Now you can put the materials folder outside of the textures. Personally, I really prefer to put it in here, whichever folder goes with. So, for example, I'm making the pants, so I'd go into body, and there's the player pants. And then I go, you know. Travis, I go. I name it. No more heroes three. Travis, player, pants. Save. And I'm going to change the shaders here to VR complex. Turn on specular so it reacts to lighting properly. Now we're going to use this magnifying glass button to open the asset browser and we're going to search number here's three layer pants nope or bottoms there you go that should give me all the results I want so because I'll be putting in multiple textures I'll just copy this select the pants that I want here. That's good. So now here it is. Go to normal map. Click the correct normal map. Check it again. See if there's a roughness map. There is. Let's go back to model doc. Magnifying glass here. No more has three Travis. There's the pants. Apply. Here's the pants. And they look 
pretty dang good. Now, when we searched up the pants here, we didn't see um, a metalness texture or an ambient occlusion texture. Now, um, a lot of times from Unreal Engine models and especially uh, newer gen models will probably have a baked uh, ambient occlusion texture and a roughness and a metalness texture. However, it will usually be combined into one texture that's usually titled something like MRAO, Metal Roughness Ambient Occlusion. That's usually how that is. Sometimes it's RMAO. It usually depends on which color channel is which. So we're going to open this in Adobe Photoshop. However, if you'd have a different program like paint.net, you can still do it in a similar way. So we're going to uncheck this background. I'm going to go into channels. And you'll see uh, the red, green, and blue channels. Red, this is metal. So you can see the M is first. The second is R, so green channel is roughness. And the third is AO, which means ambient occlusion. In this case, uh, I don't see any ambient occlusion here, just white. We check the layer mask. Sometimes ambient occlusions are hidden in the layer mask, mask not the case. So, uh, but we don't have the metalness texture, which is what we need. So we're going to go, when we have this uh, red channel selected, we're going to go to image mode, grayscale, flatten layers, and then save as, and set this as metal. Then we're going to go back in our material editor. We're going to check metalness texture. Here's our metalness texture here. Accept, save. So now if we go back to model doc, certain areas like the metal here on this bag, or maybe there's like a zipper or something, or maybe buttons, depending on like which pants model it is or whatever, will be like like a bit of a shinier metal, and it'll look nicer overall. Now we're going to move to the t-shirt, which unexpectedly shares the same texture with the shoes. So apparently, we have two t-shirt textures here named the same thing. That doesn't sound right, so let's look here. Select. There's the shirt. There's the shoes. So we're going to name rename this to Travis Shoes. Oh, it renames both. What we'll do is just uh, remove this texture, create a new one, rename this one to shirt, name this one to shoes. Assign. So now the shirt should be that. And the shoes should be this. There you go. Hopefully I won't have to do that for the other meshes, but looks like we will for this one. Now you can see that it's split the textures into two. So Now we just have the shirt to work with. So let's go back to the material editor. New. 
we're gonna use reuse this name except change the player pants to player shirt save in the shirt folder here complex specular now I'm gonna show you a way that may make it easier for you when you're porting models um, especially in the case of porting textures at extremely high res. Thankfully, in my case, most of these textures are 1024 by 1024. But if you have 4K textures that are 4096 by 4096, that's going to kind of lag the Half-Life Alex a bit. So you may, you know, forego want to forego the the process of importing each individual texture into one material file um, and want to import them all at once and you can kind of do that so what I'm gonna do is these share mostly the same names but we're gonna rename them to their proper names so color and make sure make sure it ends with these by the way under underscore in these terms so underscore color here this says metal so underscore metal so this says nm which is normal so underscore normal and this is rough so underscore rough find the color travis shirt zero 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 there you go there's the color we don't have a normal map this time but that's fine we don't necessarily need it here how to make this process faster since we named these accordingly we can just click this drop down next to color auto fill using me and it filled in the roughness and the amulet occlusion texture. And if I had a metalness and a normal map for this texture, it would have filled in that too. Save. Go to model deck. Make this the shirt texture here. So now we have the shirt. And I believe if we had the no jacket version and then put the shirt on here. And there's the shirt. Looks pretty nice. And that is the basics for, um, you know, simple textures like clothing. Uh, I'm going to basically do this for all the other body textures here. And if I run anything important, I'll show it. But otherwise, I'm just going to skip when I'm done. So, three, two, one, skip.